again, Bots and Bits fans. Welcome back. I've missed you. I've really missed you. Did you ever leave me alone like that again? <clears throat> um, today, we're taking a look at Mech Fans Toys MF26 Sharktacons 3 pack. And as I'm sure you're all aware by now, this is Mech Fans Toys 1 to 1 KO of Hasbro and Takara's Titan Returns. Sharktacons, although slightly improved. Now it wouldn't be a 2017 new release if there wasn't some sort of controversy attached to it, and that is the box art. A fellow named, um, I'm going to butcher his name, Marcelo Mathieu, Mathieu, not sure mate, sorry if I got that wrong, uh, did the original artwork for this, and MFT have nicked it without his permission. Now on his official Facebook, he was calling for a boycott of the product, that's unlikely to happen, but we all understand why he's pissed. Unlike Paul Hill, whose artwork was featured on Toy House Factory, Marcelo's not happy about it. Some people said think about the exposure, but that is probably the most insulting thing you can say to a professional artist. But uh, that being said, I hope this does get you a little bit of exposure, Marcelo, um, and gets a little bit of traffic to your website and maybe a few sales or whatever. I'll provide his link and all of his details in the description below. Head over to his page and check out some of his stuff. He is a fantastic artist. His galleries look amazing. Alright, all that aside and done with, let's get into the details. Alright, so in this beautifully illustrated box, we get their well-printed instructions showing us uh, bot mode to shark mode, uh, some custom artwork there, and a picture of their upcoming legend scale. I think that's the KO DX9 Dinobot. We also get a baggie of parts, which is just some pistols and also their antennas which is an improvement on the uh, Hasbro. Hasbro, you see, doesn't have antennas, but these guys have their spiky little antennas, and they are very thin, <laughs> so be careful. But if you do happen to break one, in both of my boxes, because I've got two sets of these, I did get spares. So if you do break some, uh, you've got some spares. And then we get these Sharktacons themselves. Now they come in bot mode. We get, let's have a look. We get the spiked maces. Let's look at the purple one first. Now this is all clear purple plastic with gold paint over the top. And the paint is done quite well. There's no chips, there's no scratches. It's really reflective. I'm not seeing many sprue marks. Got one on the butt there and one on the back there. But apart from that, it is done well. And then the same with the blue ones. That blue reflective paint just looks fantastic. I am digging that. Absolutely love it. And the sprue marks aren't quite as prominent on the gray plastic. Again, no chips or scratches. I'll take a look at the purple Sharktacon first. Now, I'm not sure why they went with purple. Maybe it was because of the eye gear color. Uh, I know that eye gear did a commander version of their Sharktacons not too, well, a long time ago now. It wasn't very popular. This on the other hand, this clear purple plastic. As you know, I'm a sucker for clear plastic and this just looks... I don't know why I would want a clear purple Hasbro Takara style Sharktacon, but I want it and I'm glad I have it. This, this looks awesome. This is very unique and very cool. The purple plastic, especially in his belly, is mostly hollow. As you can see, so the light just passes straight through him. Now he has a lot of paint on him. We've got gold here on the, what are they, like chin whiskers. That is done really, really well. A little bit of like reflective green here, which isn't quite working out. So it's not quite working out because the clear plastic is coming through on the backside. These red squares here that look printed on. The silver on the teeth is done really, really well, but unfortunately it's only on the one side. Silver on the face is done quite well. The gold mohawk is mostly in the lines. You can see it's just a little bit out on either side. That's forgivable. But the red eyes don't quite fill the gap. Let's see that. That looks a little bit lame. <laughs> the red just, it doesn't fill the whole thing. And if I look at uh, the Hasbro, actually the Hasbro is mostly the same. That doesn't fill that, that's lame. That doesn't fill the whole gap either. So they can't really be faulted too much on that error. Moving down on the arms, we have purple paint on the feet here, which is done pretty well. I'm not, again, I'm not seeing any chips or overspray. So far, everything is really in the lines and it is the same on the other side. Now this plastic has like a gun metal color to it and it has a bit of reflectiveness. And it's like, a, I'm not seeing a metallic speckle, but it definitely has a metallic, there we go, look at that. 
Definitely has a metallic reflectiveness to it. Then down here on the back, it's got gold eyes, which aren't 100% in the lines. Just add a bit there. And it's going into like the bottom eyelid detail on there, but you know, <laughs> I think I'm asking a bit much. It, it, it looks good. There's no chips or scratches. That is an area that looks like it would scratch easily, but it's come out of the factory fine. This purple looks really neat as well, and more silver on the teeth. His joints and articulation are exactly what you would expect, or what you would hope for anyway. The ball sockets on this are quite tight. As you can see, there's no flop, anything. Same with the elbow, that's even tighter than the shoulder. And the swivel is really tight. I'm finding that the swivel at the elbow is tighter than the swivel at the shoulder. We do have that improved feature of a wrist swivel. So the wrists do swivel all the way around. Doesn't make much difference in my opinion. I'll just chuck this weapon in. These are a tight fit. There we go. So now instead of holding his mace like that, you can hold it like that. Or you can hold it out. Like that. Or like that. You know, you've got the option. Down to his legs. Hang on, let me just... I'm finding, actually, while I'm moving this, that these shark fins are quite loose. They're not like too floppy, they're not going to fall out that much, but when you're just moving him and, and manipulating him, it comes out quite easily. And that's on all of mine so far. So back to articulation, ball socket hips, which are as tight as you would like them. That one, this one's even stiffer really. The knees, now I wish that they had made some alteration to the knees, so the legs would go forward a little bit more. See, they just sort of, they just sort of stop there. So he has to rely on this shark head a lot for stability. I would have liked his legs to be more straight, but what are you going to do? We don't really buy this for the Botmo, do we? <laughs> well, I haven't, so anyway. That's pretty much it for Botmo. Oh, the head is on a swivel, and it's not loose or tight. It is just right. Improvement they've made that I forgot to mention is the tabs on these shoulder joints are much much stronger they click in really really well so well in fact that you often feel like you're going to break them trying to undo it especially this tab in um shark mode and i'll demonstrate that now let's just grab this guy so here he is in shark mode and that just looks really cool doesn't it um again the purple plastic i don't know what the thinking behind that was but that just looks that looks awesome now that joint that I was talking about is when the shoulder folds back into the hips. Now this is really, really strong and you just, you, if you pull on it, I saw um, Ben's collectibles, he snapped one of his legs and I'm sure this is how he did it. This tab in here is really tight. So you sort of want to just work it out, not yank it. So if you yank it, so that's not, that's not coming out. But if you just stick your fingers in there and just give it a little love, and just convince it. Out you come. There you go. Ah, oh, thank you. There, see, there they are. But that secondary hinge inside is still super tight. It's just really, really tight. So I do have some concerns, but so far I've transformed them all, maybe three times each, and no breakages. But that that bit there is a concern, and it's the same on the. Um, gray ones as well. All right, so let's check out the other two. Let's just get them both out. So, all right, so here's the gunmetal gray version. Now this, this just looks fantastic. I haven't seen the Takara versions of these, but I assume that they would look like this because Takara paint is usually much better than the Hasbro offerings. But anyway, back on topic, the paint on this is fantastic. That gunmetal color in his gray body. Oh, that just looks, hang on. Just got to bring the fin up and see again this fin a little bit floppy but it's not gonna see it's not it's not falling out it's just not as tight as the rest of him but yeah this gun metal looks fantastic and the same with this purple on the bottom jaw let's just get a good look that purple looks amazing and the metallic blue metallic blue on this whole thing looks fantastic i am really really loving the paint applications on this guy same silver chrome on the teeth same deal with the face although it's a darker silver compared to the purple guy but the eyes are still suffering the same thing. Let me just get a bit of focus on that. See, the eyes are still suffering from the same thing. 
I would prefer it if they filled the whole eye gap, but um, comparing it to Hasbro again, it's pretty much the same. As you see, the face sculpt is slightly different. The Mech Vans Toys one has teeth, whereas the Hasbro does not. Now let me just get some better light in here. I just realized that I'm not getting much detail, so there we go. Good comparison to the faces. You can see there's a lot more detail in the Mech Fans Toys face, but the body details seem identical. Anyway, Hasbro aside, on the rest of this we have purple paint on the legs. It is done really well. There again, the same standard across the board. There are no chips, no scratches, no anything. Even around this hinge here, I'm not seeing any damage whatsoever. And on the face, remember, I've transformed these three times each, roughly, and still no scratching or chipping anywhere on this guy. The finish is just really, really good, especially with that metallic reflection in the plastic. That is just fantastic. Again, more blue paint up here on the elbows, where, which will eventually become the feet. The chrome on the teeth isn't done on the back either, but then again, Hasbro's aren't even painted, so let's just have a look at his weapon. He can hold his mace really, really tightly. And let me just get his pistol out. I should have prepped this a bit better. <laughs> Sorry. Let's grab his pistol. And oh, that doesn't want to go in. Get in, pistol. That is one tight fit. So there we have him with his pistol, with his mace. Now, honestly, the robot mode on this kind of sucks. <laughs> I'll admit it. It's painted well, but it's still, it. this looks shitty, right? That's, it's not a good bot mode. So this isn't gonna look good, but it is painted really well. So it's kind of got a little bit of charm. Still, <laughs> the bot mode looks rubbish. Compare that instead with the shark modes. Let's just get rid of you, bring him in. And you can see, oh man, that's, that just looks fantastic. I think I know what it is about the Hasbro that bugs me. It's the pink and it's the no silver teeth. Those gray teeth, they just, they don't, uh, they just don't work, right? The rest of the colors are okay, but he needed silver teeth. Look at Mech Fans Toys with those shiny teeth. That just looks fantastic. And a close up of the Mech Fans Toys, you can see he's got the clear eyes as well. That reflective blue just works super well. And all of the other colors are just fantastic. And, all, and of course, those little antenna, which are very delicate, like I mentioned before. Really easy to get in though. But yeah, comparing that color with this color, uh, Hasbro, it's no contest, just get out of here. That is just, that is just brilliant. So the rest of the details around him, you can see the metallic color in his, in his plastic carries on through. The purple looks fantastic. And then when it comes with these fists, because they rotate, you can sort of configure them however you want. You can have them up like that, around like that, so you don't really see much of the detail. So the whole thing just tabs in pretty well. I was worried that being a KO, that these tabs in the face might be a problem or those tabs underneath there inside of his mouth might be a problem, but I can open and close that and it's fine. Just the tiniest little bit of separation. But when pulling back, you can see that it's not breaking this seal at all. You've got to put in a little bit of force. There we go little bit of force to break that tab, which is a good thing. Now that I've got him in this terrifying state, looks like something out of the thing, or maybe Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, let's do some size comparisons. Mech Fans Toys Oversized Galvatron. Hang on, let's just pull it back a bit so we can get a good look. Yeah, there it is. Pretty good size, I'd say. Pretty good. You wouldn't want Galvatron to be a similar size as these sharks, so that works for me. Titans Returns Wheelie. Unique Toys Sharktacon and iGear Sharktacon, who both look good uh, for their own designs, but when it comes to screen accuracy and looking like an actual Sharktacon, Hasbro 
have the design down pat. So the Mech Fans Toys one looks the best to me. It's a shame that I don't have a uh, Masterpiece scale Shark Decon that looks like this. The Eye Gear one kind of looks like a killer grasshopper and this kind of looks like some clown mask on legs. It, yeah, I like both of them, but when you look at these for a Shark Decon, that has the design uh, down pat for sure. And there you have it guys, there really isn't much more to say about this lot. Um, I do have some gripes with them, but they all relate to engineering, and that is on Hasbro's doormat. What we have here is an exact KO, but with improvements. You have the wrist swivel, you have those cool little antennas that you have to be very careful with. We have excellent paint, and I mean excellent paint, with the exception, the only fault that I had was the overspray, the slight overspray on the gold eyes on the captain. When it comes to the rest of the body, there was like no sprue marks anywhere. There were no clippings, there were no chips, there were no cracks, there's no stress marks, there's no anything. They're made to a very high standard. Well, mine are at least anyway. If you're a fan of the Titans Return Sharktacon, you are going to absolutely love these guys. If you were on the fence or you're just not impressed by it, then you're not going to like this. I mean, the bot mode on these things is just awful. Look at that. It's just so Gumby, and it's just, yeah, you know, not make fans toys fault, they're just going on what was already made, but it, it is, it's awful. So to summarize, if you liked the Hasbro design, you will absolutely love this, it is so much better. If you hated the Hasbro design, then don't bother, it is engineered the exact same way. And that's that. Now, these samples were provided to me by Show Z Store on AliExpress, Facebook, and now they've graduated to their own full-on official website, ShowZStore.com. They have some fantastic prices. They've got a whole bunch of new stuff that's just come in. They've got a currency converter on their page. Create an account. You can upload your own reviews with photos. They also have more images sections where you can see images from all around the web and from blogs and all that sort of thing. So they're not just showing you what the manufacturers is sending them. They're going to list all the pictures that they find on the internet so you can see every angle, every opinion and make an informed purchase. I think that is a fantastic feature. I'm so glad they're adding it. Expect to see a lot of my photos and reviews in this. I'll be submitting them um, as soon as I get some time. Now, if you have any comments, questions, love or corrections, please leave them below. If you enjoyed my video and you like what I'm doing and you like the sound of my voice, please like and subscribe to my channel. Remember to check out my Facebook. I have daily news and updates on KO and third party stuff. July has been a huge month for releases. I've got like 10, 12 products sitting here just waiting to be photographed and reviewed. So it's gonna be a busy next few weeks. I'm gonna try and get as much out as I possibly can, but I do have a ton more content coming. So stay tuned and thanks a lot for your time and thanks for watching guys.